So last time I built a new motorboat base and part of what I had to do for that was increase the build limit on for the base platform on that. So because of that, it means I actually have increased the build limit on other things. And with that, I am going to go ahead and do a rework on my Parasur base because I never really finished it. And it kind of gave me problems with what I was trying to do. But I've got some new ideas. And so I'm going to turn this into a pretty reasonable mobile base. So I'm actually going to stick with the greenhouse look, I think, for this. I'm going to take the stone parts out right now. Because, I mean, uh, it was cheap. Well, cheap for what I had available. Uh, and I'm going to keep the ramp just so I don't drop and get injured every time. But I, I am going to do this sort of design and just, I think I want the central part, all of this to be metal and greenhouse themed. And then I'm going to actually extend out, I think, a bit. I may actually take some of this out too and have a door on each side so I can still have uh, a door to, you know, not show me visible so they won't attack me. I think that even though I have a metal platform, uh, I'm going to go with wood for the sides and everything else like that. So I have a little walkout and I don't think I have one in the S plus mod, but I kind of want to find like a, a spotlight, floodlight type of thing that I could like mount here and have it kind of shine in front like headlights, you know? So when they, I'm walking him around at night, I, I can have some lighting. It does kind of look a little off the coloration between that tile and the platform, but uh, I'm going to make it work. So here, I want to go with, actually, you know what? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Stop doing, there we go. So I'm going to use this as a way to extend out a bit. So this could be production area. Like I have nice bit of walking around, but I can have some production, some storage, something like that along the size here. If I do like this. Uh, too far forward. I want to bring it back. Well, it's not pretty, but it may at least let me get things started. Uh, of course, that come up. <laughs> no snapping on the bottom, but it snaps up above. Really? Snaps there now. Let me take this out. And it did not break. So if it didn't break, it should have snapped that way to begin with. So basically what I'm creating here is a holding platform for a dino. Like an Ankylosaurus or a Didacurus. Uh, basically, I can have a separate ramp along the ground that it walks up one ramp and walks up in here and just kind of gets to hang out right here. And then when I'm ready, I just walk up the ramp, grab them, walk back down and done. I'm going to do like this for now. That's enough to make sure they can't fall out. And I think I'll just yeah do like that on this side. It gives me that. And then I just got to throw in the uh, one ramp right there, like that. Bam! Walks up here. Uh, you know, I, I might add like a... Well, I can't add a gate. If I could add like a door, it'd be nice. Watch out, cats. I'm coming in. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, come on. Jump it. Jump it. Oh, <laughs> the roll got him up there. Okay. Uh, that works, kind of. So, you see, kind of the goal I have for this is a dino creature transportation type thing. Uh, I'm sure I can find some way to make it look a little nicer, but basically that's what I want to do. Is I want to have some way to transport, like, a beaver and a Didacurus with me as I go out and use it as, like, a mobile harvesting and production base. Well, I decided to try it on this side a little bit closer. And it's not one to let me place it. That actually seems a little bit too long. I mean, I got them up here and here. You know, that's just... That's a little too much length. But I guess if I wanted to just be sure, I could extend it forward. I think that's the better option, is I'll just move this one more 
this way. Uh, like that. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna stick with the window on the one side for now, even though I am adding, like, rails to it. Uh, I just kind of feel like I like the, what looks to be a little bit stronger of a, you know, enclosure than having just some rails for it. Maybe a pillar, you know? Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll stick with that. If it ends up being a problem, I'll swap it all out for walls. What? No way. No way that it's already ran out of space. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Not, not true. Not with the boost I added. That is supposed to cover for even this platform, and it's not doing that. So I have closed the game out, and I changed my config once again, this time from two times the normal amount on the saddle to four times the normal amount on the saddle. So if it ends up giving me another complaint at this point, then I'm going to say something is not right. So I'm doing greenhouse ceiling tiles and all this. So I have a nice view all the way around kind of thing with the greenhouse. Uh, and I'm just going to worry about this because this way I have a nice, you know, I lay back, you know, watch the stars. I can. And for this, I'm going to do metal for so that and that. Gives me a ladder so I can climb up and I'll put some railings up here. And this is going to be the landing pad for an RG. Uh, so I have an Argentavis I could carry with me or, you know, trend on uh, tap a jar, whatever. Some small flyer could come with me so I can use it to go pick up stuff, whatever. Not taming anything on this, just carrying a flyer and some utility dinos. Okay, why is this? It's like, as soon as I get to line up, I see it. It shifts backwards just a second later. Like, right there. goes in place. And then it shifts backwards as I'm clicking. It's not... It lines up, but then it says no. Not, not doing it. I had a ladder before, and I got rid of it. Because I didn't like the whole having to try and look at it the right way to grab it, but... I think I'm just going to stick with that this time. I don't want a ramp sticking out the back. I don't want a, uh, basically, let's call it a mud flap for the Pariser's backside. Like, what am I doing? Is it a poop cover so he doesn't fling his poop everywhere? I, I don't want a ramp right there. I, I, it looks funny. And just because I have an absolutely unnecessary amount of these right now, I'm going to use the stone rails for the moment. I might swap out for metal railing later just to give it a better look i may actually swap the whole wood component area out for metal anyway at some point but right now i'm just going to use what i already have so i save some resources well none of it wants to line up right it just keeps changing i mean i put something down and it just bobs up and down non-stop on most of these and other ones like, that's actually doing better <laughs> than it was. Uh, and then that one just absolutely will not place down. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> so this is not going to be level. It's not going to look as good as it should because the game will not let me place it down the way I should be able to. And I'm just going to do the most basic stuff in this. I'm not going to worry about trying to get, like, super crazy on this. Uh... It would be nice if the sink would not freak out. It's not realistic. And apparently my water doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I put the bucket. But the bucket did not line up with the sink or something. Now it works. And suddenly it makes me jump when I'm like standing there. We'll go up here. Just a trial run. Nothing. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. All right, despite all the numerous problems with building, it's time for a trial run. My RG is getting bounced around the pin. Fortunately, the, uh, you know, the side saddles are not interfering with them too much. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. He fits in fine. 
Well, this doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, even the Carno, that's a little bit bigger than I need it to be. But at least he's got some shade, you know. It's, it's not super bright sunlight in his face the whole time. Looking at it with the RG up top, I mean, I could probably take the two outermost side pieces off the extensions and just compress everything in a little bit more, be a little bit tighter, a little bit cozier feeling. So my weight is actually not a problem right now. I mean, I'm a little over one third of the weight at the moment. I don't have any supplies on board, but I mean, you know, just keep leveling them up and that should work pretty well. I'm actually trailing water from the sink as I walk. It's just like the animation is still falling and it's like it's going that way. <laughs> and so I'm going to swap the S plus ramps out for the standard ramp. Much steeper, but that should make it a lot easier on me to get the dinos up and well, myself up too. You know, that, that's an important thing. You got to be able to get yourself up the ramp to get on the dino. I don't think I'll use this one that much because it is really really slow walking around so i decided to bring everything in by one uh from the outside and well a problem now is the sink won't place down or rather the bucket that i need for the sink to work won't place down on the platform saddle itself so no bucket means I got to worry about making sure I have some way to uh, have water while I'm traveling. So I'm going with citronol for the water aspect when I, I need it. I might get some more water jars going as well as just have them stockpiled. Uh, cooked lamb chop, better food and last 19 days in this. And then sweet vegetable cake in case I need to tame something that needs sweet vegetable cake. I'll probably put some some kibble of some sort in here just in case but i'm probably not gonna be using this for taming more for just the going out harvesting stuff i don't know how well this is going to work going in the water so we're gonna find out if he oh he is swimming he, he, he's swimming and it looks like his head's not even his head's not even above the water level he's he's basically suffocating at this point because <laughs> of the weight of everything on him uh, that's why I did a short swim. So I definitely feel this is like a design that would work really well in a multiplayer team type aspect because I mean, you could have a, you know, somebody that is the Argy flyer to take stuff back or even better, a Kets. Have somebody following with their Kets and basically their whole point is they load up with supplies as stuff gets processed and then they fly it back to uh, another base, you know? Because until this gets high level, like super high level, not gonna be carrying a huge amount of stuff. Let's see if I, I can do this just right. Oh, almost enough to jump over there. Oh, well, that's, it took less than 10 minutes to get over here. That's, that's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, there we go. I got that over here with my other little my tower base. I'm going to call that successful. I might find another use for it. It didn't take that long to get over here. But for now, I'm going to leave him here to just kind of hang out, do his own thing. And, you know, I got Flower Child here. That would be a perfect one to go hang out with him on board and go traveling about, you know, harvesting flowers in the swamp.